just a quick video on uh, replacing the uh, the cam sensors on this the 2013 G63 with the 5.5 liter twin turbo um, M157 engine. Um, I recently had a couple codes come up um, and I cleared them and they went away and they haven't really come back. But um, I had a look at the cam sensors here and you can kind of see this one is really oily and um, so is this one here. So both of the passenger side ones look like they're kind of seeping oil through them and that oil gets into the uh, the wiring harness. Um, the ones on the uh, on the driver's side are still dry, but um, I went ahead and I ordered four new ones. Got them from FCP Euro, um, part number 276905100. Um, all four of them came out to about 200 bucks, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and change them out. So first thing we want to do obviously is uh, uh, need to get these clips off. So the easiest way is to undo these safety ones with just a little flathead and then push down and, and clip them. And then you can see, if you look in the harness, you see it's all, uh, all oily there. So I've, I've heard what can happen is if you let this go on is the oil will migrate down the wiring harness and it'll actually end up in the, uh, in the ECU, which is in the center there under that cover. That's the ECU right here. So the oil can actually migrate through the harness and into the ECU and then damage your ECU. So you don't want that to happen, obviously. So you want to get this problem taken care of. You see how, how oily this one is. Um, so then we'll get a Torx, get those out, and then get new ones in. So I went ahead and got the bolts out. They're just the T30 Torx. And then the, uh, oh, there goes one of them. The sensor is just sits there on an O-ring. So they just come out like so and then you can put new ones in. So here are the, uh, the old ones. Here's one of the new ones. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this new one back in here. And we'll just put the bolt in. And then uh, repeat the process for the rest of them. And actually on the driver's side here, the sensor looked dry on the outside, but when I pulled the connector, it's also oily on the inside. So you can see the, uh, the connector was, uh, or the sensor is leaking oil on the inside of the connector. So it's a good thing we're changing them all. Even though these look dry from the outside, they're still uh, seeping oil. We'll get this other one off too. Let's see if that one's seeping. Oh, no, that one's dry. So out of the four, just one is dry for the most part, and three were oily. And so to get this last sensor out on the driver's side, you gotta move this, uh, this vacuum line and this wiring harness out of the way. And they're just held down with these two uh, e torques they're E10 bolts. So you just take those bolts out. And that way, it'll give you room. You can move them, and uh, then the sensor will come out. So now, with this vacuum line out of the way and this wiring harness, and then move it off to the side and now we can grab the sensor and pull it out and there we go this one actually has a uh, a new o-ring on it so this one looks like it was it was changed that's why this one's not seeping and the other three are so if you take a look um <coughs> the, the three have old black o-rings on them and one has a green one just like these uh just like these new ones have green, green O-rings on them too. So I guess this sensor had failed before, somebody replaced it. And uh, now we're replacing it again. 
I'll probably just hold on to this one just as a spare since it's uh, it was fine. And uh, but now at least all of them are done. And that's it. It's all done. Uh, button it up. Now we can fire it up. Make sure we got no codes. And uh, keep driving. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good one.